According to the University of Iowa Facilities Management website, the team responsible for testing oat hole combustion in the circulating fluidized bed boiler found there was virtually no oat hole burning information available in the public domain. Most of the technical experience was in Europe, where energy has been utilized for decades. However, specific information related to burning oat holes in a CFB furnace was not readily accessible. After coordinating with the Iowa Department of Natural Resources for a biomass test burn, the experiment proceeded with an initial test of recifil, or oat holes. Mixed results led the team to try burning unprocessed oat holes. Oat holes, about the size of sunflower seeds, are very lightweight. Quaker Oats had to figure out how to load and transport the oat holes. The power plant had to design, procure, and install a pneumonic injection system. Part of this system included a separate, more compatible fuel silo and designing, procuring, and installing pneumatic blowers, fuel injection nozzles, transport piping and fittings, safety interlocks, and new boiler control logic specifically designed for the biomass fuel. These modifications needed to be done in a manner that would not have a negative impact on the existing coal systems. The test with unprocessed oat holes proved a resounding success for the UI power plant and for Quaker Oats. For more information, go to www.facilities.iowa.edu.